Okay, here's some practicing recall. Um, he is pooping. That's the only way he got for far enough away for me to recall him. But we still went ahead hey! and used it yes! as an opportunity. So when he gets to me though, he does a lot of jumping. So I wait for him to have his paws hey, on the ground go. to mark him. Good job. All done. Um, I'm glad he's excited to see me, but we, you know, we need those paws on the ground at this age when we do these recalls. Here's another one coming up. Hey! Yes! And this one was a really quick one. But you'll oh, notice that his boy. butt hit the ground when he nice got to me, too. and he's really making that connection. Okay, this recall business means run to whoever's calling me and then sit down. Hank! It's a multi yes! thing. There he is, we keep recalling off uh, my cat, which is really, really difficult. I was really proud of him for doing that because he really likes to oh, mess then. with that cat, um, and he was able to come off great. So here we are on our decompression walk. And what a decompression walk essentially is, is um, I hook him to a long line and I just kind of let them wander. I'll go to an open space where I'm able to follow them and let them kind of explore and wander around instead of me walking, me leading, me making the choices. It's just really great for their little brains to be able to sniff and explore and just like the name is, you know, decompress, just relax and, um, you know, be in this environment. He does stick pretty close to me, um, which is fine. Um, I do like to see them wander a little bit more just so they can experience more things. And he does towards the end of our walk, which is right here, um, which is really nice to see because he's always so on. He's always like, okay, I train with Amanda. Amanda wants stuff. I'm going to be right at her feet, which I love. But I also want him to be able to turn it off, you know, kind of just like walk, relax, explore. And he definitely was able to do that. Um... And he did such a good job. Right there, I did recall him because somebody came out of their house and he was yes. a very long line and I didn't want him to like try to squeeze through their fence. Good job. Let's go. Okay, so here we are getting ready to get in the car and a lot of people were at the park. So I decided to um, show you what he's been doing when he sees people. So he gets really excited. He does, he does get interested in people and he gets a little happy to see them. I wouldn't say excited, I'd say happy. Um, but he does disengage on his own, which is great. You know, there's a lot of dogs that we have to teach that skill to. And while we don't have to teach Hank that, I definitely want to reward it um, when he makes those choices on his own because I want him to keep that up in adulthood. So here he is. He sees these people eating a picnic. He's pulling a little bit and he's wagging yes. his tail, but he turned around and disengaged on his own. I didn't have to call him. I didn't have to say, let's go. I didn't have to get his attention. I just let him look. And when he did that slight turnaround, I marked him tree, which is great. Okay, and this is us just trying to get out the front door with that nice weight that we practiced with the um, fence, with the gates in my house. Um, I do the same thing with uh, the front door when we go on walks. A little bit of impulse control. Okay. And some polite manner. You did great. Okay, so here's me trying to show you how to work on attention. Um, Cause it's one of the most important things I do with puppies because the more we can have their attention, the more we can work on things in different environments. Um, but he doesn't break his attention from me. So I honestly just added this clip of the video because he was precious. There is a few times you'll notice I treat him and it's cause he looks away and then looks back at me. Um, and I decided to give it to him, but he really wasn't losing focus. It was just, he's always so like, okay, what do you need me to do? I can do it. I'm ready. Okay. So here we are working on, um, some leash skills and kind of the same thing Lydia said. We don't have high expectations for puppies at this age. Um, we just, we want to reward them, um, for doing the right thing, making the right choices. I like to practice, um, a bunch of turnarounds, um, I call them like, let's, I use the word, let's go. So when I change direction, I just simply say, let's go. And then I treat once he's turned with me. This is a terrible video because I am out of the shop for 90% of it. Um, but all I'm doing is turning direction and saying, let's go. And then when he comes with me, I go ahead and mark a treat. Okay, so we pull off to the side here because these people are about to get out of their car. And I was gonna see if he had a reaction. What kind of reaction does he have? What can we work through? What can he do while there's distraction? 
and it was the same as the park. I know that I'm off the screen and I'm, this is zero help, but it was the same as the park. He looked for a few seconds. I didn't have to ask anything for him. I just waited for him and he popped back in with me and he was not phased.